This is a patient who presented after an anterior dislocation of her restore lens that had initially been placed back in 2014. She was happy with her lens, and so the decision was made to attempt to try to salvage it. This is a new device I helped to create in conjunction with Diamatrix called an IOL punch. Uh, it's the first intraocular IOL punch, and you can see the action mechanism of that here. And so after discussion with the patient, the plan was to try to salvage this lens and to recenter it. Two paracentesis were created, and the eye was filled with viscoat. A 2.4 millimeter steel keratome blade was used to enter the anterior chamber, and the IOL punch was inserted. The zonules are intact superiorly, and suture fixation is only necessary on one side of the IOL bag complex. As this is a single piece lens, the Yamani technique would not be useful, and the Canabrava technique is only applicable to a secondarily placed single piece IOL. This is the first intraocular creation of a hole within the IOL, allowing the lens to be salvaged. A second instrument was used to help free the punch from the IOL. And after this, an anterior vitrectomy was performed. And you can see there's a nice hole created in the lens. And I zoom in here on the core sample that is removed from the acrylic lens itself. A 5 0 proline suture is then threaded through the superior paracentesis. And if you note, the 27 gauge needle is located inferiorly, which is where the wound had initially been created as well. I'm using a micro grasper forcep to thread the 5 0 proline through the newly created hole in the haptic optic junction and handshake or dock that, pro, um, that proline with the 27 gauge needle. After removing it through the sclera, about 2.5 millimeters posterior to the limbus, I then create a flange on one side and then cinch it down onto the IOL. The IOL bag complex is then reposited posterior to the iris. And again, some more vitrectomy was carried out at this time. The lens was then positioned, and the final flange was created using cautery. The flange will disappear under the conjunctiva as demonstrated in other techniques. Myocol was then given to constrict the pupil, and a tenon nylon was placed and rotated into position. At post update day one, vision was 2040, and the lens was pretty well centered. Utilizing this intraocular punch with a flange technique, this patient was able to avoid explantation of a multifocal lens and achieve finer precision with fewer scleral passes than throwing a suture around the haptic.